Hello, and thank you for joining me today. In this video, you will learn how to block and allow websites within uh, content control in Gravity Zone. Um, Bitdefender's Gravity Zone does a great job at uh, allowing safe websites and blocking malicious ones. But every now and then, you may need to add your own custom exclusions. And I will show you how to do that here. So to start off, uh, you're gonna be, when you log in, you're going to be at your dashboard. So you're just going to want to navigate to your policies page in the left-hand uh, side panel. Uh, from your policies page, uh, you're going to want to choose the policy that you're using that you want to allow or block those websites on. In this case, I set up a policy just for this scenario. So I'm going to choose that one. So once you're in your policy, you're just going to want to navigate to content control. And then web. Uh, you're going to want to click on the web tab. Uh, at the top, uh, you're going to see web access control. We're going to click on settings by that. Uh, the first thing you're going to see when you uh, open up the web access control settings is your uh, internet access scheduler. Uh, so we're actually going to skip this for right now. We're just going to uh, go over to the third tab here that says exclusions. And from here, uh, we're going to use the exceptions. Uh, so we can just add one manually real quick. Uh, let's say Facebook. And we're going to blo uh, block it. So it's, it's already set to block right now. So we're just going to hit Add. And as an example of uh, allowing one, I'll do YouTube.com. And from the drop down, we're just going to hit allow this time and hit the add button. Uh, so these are your two exclusions you have now. Uh, if you want to import a list, you can import it here using this function. Or if you want to export your um, ex exceptions to add to a different policy, uh, you can export it here as well. Um, now, it is a little important to save. So you're going to hit uh, save. And you want to make sure that you save it one more time here. Uh, if you don't save the policy, the settings you changed inside that policy won't uh, be effective. Um, before I save, though, uh, I did want to cover one more thing. Uh, sometimes uh, anti-phishing can uh, uh, get a false positive. So uh, if you want to add a URL here, you can do that by clicking on anti-phishing's exclusions and adding the URL there. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to hit Save. And uh, once that's saved, it should go into effect. I hope this uh, helped. And if it did, please leave a like. And I will see you in our next video. Thank you.